All right, so today we are driving into town for my house, um, going to buy some boots, get prepared for the winter, and also for our hunting for wolves. And because uh, it is cold today, it was 26 when we got up. Um, actually, our water line, one of our water lines froze. And so we had to get that unthawed, but we're headed into town now to go get some new boots and stuff. Right? Yes, we are. And maybe a new rifle. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. Probably not a new rifle today, but whoa. One thing about our love. Uh, yep. I don't know. One thing I love about our drive to town is the scenery. Um, and Damascus likes the scenery as well. Don't you, big dog? But it's absolutely gorgeous where we live. The scenery is crazy. And um, we're headed into town to get some new boots for hiking and for the winter for wolf hunting. See what we can get. We'll see. And we'll show you the scenery of our drive. So part of our scenery driving into town. had to pull over and let the dogs out to go to the restroom uh, so we're gonna go for a little walk in the woods um, we're almost into town we got 33 more miles left we're gonna go into town and what are we doing looking for boots for the winter and what else and guns whoa what kind of gun uh, Christensen 300 Win Mag. Or what or else? Or Bagara. Bagara? Yep. Somebody's racing by. The what? The race horse. So anyways, we got to be super careful because it hasn't been a good huckleberry season. So all the bears are starving or hungry. And there's a ton of grizzly bears out. So... We gotta watch for bears. We always have to watch for bears out here where we live, but it's uh, worse this year because they're all hungry, right? Yep, we all have to eat somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and the bears like ponytails. So I hope they can whip me around. Oh, these are bad. <laughs> Dogs are crazy. Unfortunately, or fortunately, we have two Belgian Malinois, so it's kind of nice because they'll know something's out in the woods way before we will. Super keen sense of smell. Hearing. Huh? You hear bees. My wife doesn't like bees. She gets stung all the time, but it's because of her 400 and five karate moves that she makes as soon as she sees one then the bees think that they're under attack so they just come at her full force they're not even bees actually they're wasps but have you ever seen the movie karate kid because i think my wife's got more karate moves than he does when it comes to wasps huh babe can you demonstrate a couple of them no no are you sure <laughs> yeah. you want you don't you don't want to whip out like 20 moves real quick in 3.2 seconds? <laughs> All right. All right. We'll let her slide on that one. Maybe I'll get it on film. So this is probably my favorite sporting goods shop in Montana. This is actually what we're going for this year right here. One of those bad dogs. Right there. So I'm going to go with the whites boots and i'm gonna go with the grande ronde series insulated insulated and waterproof what'd you find which ones um, boxer 
Got sidetracked. Like I said, this has got to be my favorite store. These bad boys. Sporting goods. And they're cute store. and sporty. Whoa, dude. Let's check them out. Who makes them? Kamek. Kamek. That's nice. Warm. You don't want anything Heated. higher like this? No, I tried those on. It feels like a snowboard boot. I'm not going well, snowboarding. It might feel like a snowboard boot, but that might be what keeps you. Well, let's see. Try them on. Well, those ones are only 40 below. These are 20 below, so these are better. But what I'm saying is they're shorter. Okay. I know. So when you start walking around in snow that's three feet deep, you're going to get snow right on the top of those, whereas these are at least are a little bit taller. Yeah, I might wear my bogs on when if it's that much snow. Because those are higher. Oh, so you don't even really need boots then? No, I do. I'm <laughs> just teasing. <laughs> those are a different type of boot. Is this your favorite sporting goods store? One of them. I really love Murdoch's too. Whoa, Murdoch's. The one and only. Yeah. I have lots of cool stuff. See? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're super comfy inside and smooshy. Nice. That feels like they'd be pretty warm. All right. How much are they? One thirty. A lot cheaper than mine. Yeah, yours are like what? Three hundred. Three hundred and fifty. Oh my gosh. But they are they are white, so. Want to see a really cool sweatshirt? Sure. Let's check it out. I don't know if I'd wear it, but is that your size right there? Yeah. But I like what it says. I'll show you. Aren't you going to grab your boots? I don't know if I can throw some there. I really love this shirt. It says, Bat Country Boneheads. <laughs> kind of like Riverside Rednecks? Yeah, it's kind of like us. Oh, cool. Just if that extra small, I'd get it. That one would be too big. You'll have to ask her. Yeah. Sweet. That was a shirt I was going to show you when the video was turned off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Another mountain lion mount. Love this store. Love it. We got some killer, killer mounts here. This is my favorite animal, I think, out of all of them is the mountain goat. They're so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. The next is probably the wolf. But I would say that uh, the mountain goat for me has it over the wolf. Well, that stinks. Maybe they can order them for you. Maybe. Some dude too. I think she has to get them in. Socks and boots. Socks and boots. For? For winter, of course. Winter, of course. Because you don't want to be caught with a beaver and not have warm feet. <laughs> Do you? No. Nope. Don't want to be one of those guys. So we'll show you a couple of these mounts here. Crazy, huh, babe, the store? Yeah. This is what we're going to fill our house with, huh? Partially. Partially, the other part's going to be your shoes and your hats and yep. socks. So partially, we'll have some taxidermy work. And then partially, women's clothes. Right, babe? Yeah. That's her motto. Get um, what you can get. Be men's clothes, too, because you love clothes, but not as much as I do more. I don't know about that. I do. We can go home and look at our closets. Yeah, we probably don't want to do that. <laughs> Show any proof of the pudding right there. They only got a couple mounts in the store, huh?
What's that? Just got the green light to look at some guns. You heard it. But right now we are just taking the dogs out for a walk as we've been in the sporting goods store for a couple hours. And we went out to eat and ate lunch and the dogs were in the kennels. <whistles> so I guess my wife's saying that he came down crashing through the woods here, hit that lip, cleared this whole ravine, landed in the road over here, and then flipped over, no, landed he on his head. Land here, he crashed and burned there and landed on his head. Landed on his head. But that is about 15 feet. I'll show you a sideways view of how far he launched. So he came crashing through the woods here. We're talking about my dog came off of this lip right there, jumped from there all the way over to the road over here and landed on his head. So his feet came out from underneath him. But it didn't seem to phase him because he's still hauling ass through the woods. <whistles> Muskers! You can see. Come here, boy. Still hauling ass. Come here. Seats. Face. Good boy. You all right? I heard you took a tumble. Well, wait. Did you take a tumble? Huh? Are you ready to get him? Where are they at? Actually, wait, whoa. I hear something up in the woods. Hey, there's something up in the woods here. Something's crashing through the woods. It's coming down right through here. Hopefully it's not a grizzly bear, but we're gonna find out here in a second. Whoa, 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 wait. Damascus seats. Hey, something's crashing through the woods right here. Well, we had a pretty good day today at the sporting goods store, didn't we? Yes, we did. You found some boots that you like? Yes, they're super cute. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, let me see if I can move this thing down a little bit. Whoa, wrong way. Yeah, way wrong way. <clears throat> so, what kind of boots did you get? I don't remember. <laughs> they were just cute. <laughs> There you go, folks. Typical girl just stuff. <laughs> typical girl stuff there. Just cute. I happen to get whites that are insulated, 400 grams, that are waterproof. So I know what I got. Well, mine are waterproof. The only thing she knows, watch this, is the price. How much were they? No, they are good for, uh, for minus 20, and they're Kamek. Minus 20. Is she talking about the checkbook or the degrees? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> She's trying to escape already. I'm not uh, good at those videos. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm very what else did you get? Some cool wool socks. Wool socks. What make yeah. are they? They are Carhartt. She knows the name of the socks. And a Carhartt shirt. Whoa, dude. And a Carhartt shirt to match. Yeah. And a buff ear muff kind of headband. Buff muff. Buff muff <laughs> ear muff. Whoa, dude. I need a buff muff ear muff. You probably do. We could be twinning. <laughs> yeah, because my ears get real cold, folks. Real cold. All right. Well, we Anyways. had a good day today. Got some boots. Dogs are out trying to scrounge around a bear or something coming crashing through the woods. But we'll keep you guys posted on what's going on. And we had a good Peace. day today. Riverside Road Nation.